car here. Let's do some subtotal and grand total formatting in our table matrix in Power BI. Let's go ahead and first grab our matrix. I'm going to grab my matrix and drag it over here. Expand it across. I'm going to pull in product category. I'm also going to pull in region. And then I'm going to pull in some sales. And to show you what we're going to be making updates and changes to, we're going to be making updates and changes to the subtotals here and our grand total here. How do we do that? We go into our format visuals, knowing that we have just added rows and not columns. We're going to go into our row subtotals and then our row grand total. So first things first, let's go into our row subtotals. Know that in Power BI, you can turn your row subtotals off or you can turn them back on if you choose. You can also come into values and you can change the text color. Or you can just change that background color to say, well, I want this to be my row indication. So if I change that background color, now you can see what that looks like with the background color changed. If I want my subtotals to show all the way across include to include the labels, then I just say apply to labels as well. And once I do that, now you see that this is also this function has also been applied to the labels and we can go ahead and minimize this. Now let's go to our row grand total. And if we go to our row grand total, which we're going to be focusing on this right here, right now it has changed with our subtotals to blue. But now that we're formatting it, we're going to change this color to this yellowish orange. And we see that it's changed on our grand total, but hadn't changed on our label. So we want to also apply this to our label. So just take on right here. We have applied this to our label. You can also do this in the columns and I'll just do this real quick and we'll just add our columns here. So we have our column and if we go back here into our row subtotals, we have our column subtotals instead of our row subtotals now. And right now our column subtotals have nothing, but if I wanted to change our color subtotals to another color, let's just, pick a light color like that. So now we, we have our column subtotals there and we can also change our column grand totals. So I'll just minimize the row grand total. Now we're in our column grand totals. And if I want to just match this bottom one here, then I'll just turn it to that. And now we have applied it to our label or we can take that off. And with that, now you know how to format your grand total and subtotal matrix in Power BI.